We're gamers united, where we're gonna play games. You know we're gonna have fun. Plus, we share our gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamers United. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new series. Sega! Um. In this uh, set of videos, I am going to play uh, the game Landstalker. I just got the the Sega collection. Um, I've rented this before, but I never bought it until now. But yeah, it has all these cool games on it. I'll let you guys enjoy the intro. Toe Jam and Roll, I'm going to play the second one. Oh, Alter Beast. That dude. Oh, uh, Sega Genesis in all its glory. Okay, we're going to. Go, go to our games here. This is kind of cool. Um, we're gonna, and we're going to open up Landstalker. Um, also, I'm hoping later to play Toe Jam and Roll, uh, Panic on Funkatron, which is Toe Jam and Roll Two. I really love that game. I don't know if I'll, I'll get Chris to be in it, but we'll, we'll try. We'll try our best. Um, and also, sort of Vermilion, sort of Vermilion, I might play. Um, I've been meaning to show my uh, wife and our, our friend uh, this game, but like it's kind of hard to show when you have to like level up and you know take time to level up. And it's like I'll just you know have the video for the story purposes or whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's get to Landstalker. There we go. This is a Zelda-ish kind of game. Um, Climax Entertainment. The music is awesome in this game. The tr Land Soccer, The Treasures of King Knoll, 1993. Okay, we're going to start a new game. And I believe in this collection there's a rewind feature, which I'll probably take advantage. I've beaten this game without it, so I have nothing to prove. So there... So he's searching for a treasure right here. I think this statue of Egypta. I got a little excited. I didn't read everything, but like my, my memory remembers. Luckily, there's not any platforming quite like this. Like these these whole blind jumps. I don't think. But they kind of like get you like, oh gosh, I gotta step up my game on this. But like. Okay, yeah, it's the Statue of Gypta. Calva Harbor. Actually, while we're doing this... Okay, I am not even in the... block in the game, I'm just part of the background, that's cool. Hee hee hee. Here's the money for the Statue of Gypta. Nigel got 2,000 coins, or gold. You're a very good treasure hunter, hehehehe. <laughs> With that money, you won't have to work for quite some time. And we're Nigel, we're the elf guy. What, what? Help me, please! Who are you? Hey, you, hand me that little girl. 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 They know I see the truth. King Knoll's treasures. They'll do anything to make me talk. I'll try to do voices. They'll probably even kill me. Who knows? So please, help me. Wait, what a minute. Wait a minute. Did you say... What's with the jibber-jabber? I told you to give me that girl. 
Run! Hurry! Hmm, could be interesting. Okay, come on. Ha ha ha, you won't get away. We did it! She's gone! Hey girl, do you really... Or did you really see the legend, legendary treasures? The name's Friday. Don't call me girl. Okay, okay, you can call me Nigel. Now talk. I saved your life, you know. To tell the truth, I didn't know. Quit fooling! Why were you run? Why were they running after you if you hadn't seen the treasures? Well, I didn't exactly see them. I, I know we we're around here somewhere. Great. Take me to the general area. After that, my keen senses will lead us to the treasure. Buzz. All right then. Follow me, Nigel. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not your follower. That's why you gotta get on Twitter and Facebook. Oh. I got a really bad feeling about this. Love the music. I hope you're right about those treasures, Friday. I paid all that money, all my money to that strange bird. But the ship only comes to the island only comes once a month. You said I don't care how much it costs. I want to go there now. But 2,000 golds, that's more than I... The treasure's worth more than 2,000 gold, isn't it? I guess so. Well, in for copper, in for gold. Oh. Look at that cool. A quick save. Okay, so, like, here's a rewind. Oh. Let's start our adventure. So, I'll do that. Can we do that? <laughs> I think you can only rewind. I don't know if you can fast forward. Oh. But there are some tricky puzzles, like, well, at least specifically at the end of the game, that I hate doing. Woe and death unto those who step onto this land. So pretty much there's this part at the end of the game when you, I'm not, it's not a spoiler or anything, it's just a puzzle. Um, you have to like, you press this button and this statue walks by and you have to keep walking in these little small one spot crevices so it does the statue doesn't fall. And you have to go around, around, you have to get, you know, pixel perfect precision. And um, five golds. Um, and then you get that side and then you have to go back and then there's another statue that you have to do the exact same thing and it's required. It's not just an optional puzzle. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard, but rewind feature is gonna save our day. So pretty much at that part you have to go but Alright, let's get up here. Lifestock. Okay, livestock is equivalent to a heart container in Legend of Zelda. Um, see now we have six hit points instead of five. And the more hit points you get, the stronger you are. Which I never realized when I first played this game, because it really doesn't tell you that. I thought, like, you know, if you go far, the farther you go in the game, you automatically get stronger or whatnot. And there's this boulder. Look, it can't, even, it can't even hurt you because it's tutorial level. And can't get that treasure yet. Then you get pushed into this. Starts picking up, picking up some more. Here it goes. Oh gosh, and it's going fast. Oh! Oh my gosh, a man! I have to tell Grandpa. Oh, uh, he 
he's still sleeping. He didn't seem to be a lazy type. Let him sleep in it for a while. You can stay in our village as long as you want. Hooray! That's a great idea! But we're in a hurry, Nigel. Wake up! It's time to continue our treasure hunt. Just like Link, he wants to sleep. And I don't blame him. He wants to sleep. The treasures of King Noah. Oh yeah, I have no idea. Are you okay? Take care. I can give you a helpful hint about the specialty of this island. Do you want to know about it? You do, oh. Alright, what if I say no? Oh, Iki. Okay. So, you see where the zero is on the top of the, the little bag? Um, those are where Ikiks are. I think I'm going to get one here. Iki. So, pretty much when I lose all my hit points, uh, Friday will revive me with an Iki. And um, you can also use it like to refill your health. But it's kind of like, I guess, like equivalent to a fairy in Legend of Zelda. And their livestock, that's awesome. I don't know why we're just going to these people's house and like taking their life. And you have these inns you can stay at. Um, I usually, when I first play this, I like to look at the map and see where I was. See, we're in Mason right now. You kind of go around the island. It's um, pretty cool. Save. Pockets. You're a treasure hunter, aren't you? Ha, don't even try to hide it. I sense it at once. Have you met the sage of the water waterfall shrine? We have many suspicious guests these days. Oh, you are a guest here. Oh, you know what? And... Yeah. Take that. I think this is where the shop is. And this is what a livestock looks like. And those other things are the e Um, You can't walk out with it. They'll just yell at you and you don't really get the item, so it's just really a waste of time. Okay, I did say I, was, I wasn't going to probably use the rewind feature till the end of the game. I might actually use it here, only because this is kind of annoying, random type puzzle. And this, oh yeah, this is how you save. You pick up this thing, the record book, oh. and you gotta put square on that thing. You want to hit continue your adventure, otherwise you'll not continue. Um, I don't never use these before, but that's for curing hallucinations, um, poison, I think, anti-curse book. Okay, here's the puzzle right here. This is kind of weird. I guess this would be something you do if you're curious. Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll. I, what I want to do is jump on that dog statue, but they move in such a random pace that you don't know when you're gonna get closer or farther away. I start out good, but then <laughs> I might just edit this, depending on how long it takes, and, and then and then we'll meet. You, I'll meet you guys when I'm better location.
Okay, it didn't take me too long. I um, I'm six. I'm about to hit the 16 minute mark. Um, I did a little rewind feature because I did uh, I did jump prematurely. I, I went back into the church and then I went back out and had a better positioning. And he went right near the thing. So. Oh yeah, let's no also notice. We go to this dog here. Arf, arf. And we go to this chicken. It doesn't want to be. That, yeah, arf, arf. How did you evade me, chicken? Or this guy, let's just say this guy. See, he has a star in his hand, so he didn't have really a porn name. So if someone has a name, it usually sort of means something. And it, as it's a dog, oh. The people of Gummy came and smashed the bridge. The bridge is broken. They must be possessed by evil spirits. Somebody please tell a mayor. Oh, and here's these trees right here. We, we can't do anything right now, but we'll do a quest later that we will do with this really bigger tree, the mama tree. And if we find the twin of this tree, a pathway, a, a door will open up and then we'll be able to teleport between both of those locations, saving a lot of time between the map. Um, and there's the bridge. Oh, I'm so angry. Wait till the mayor hears about this. And you can go in here, but you see that rope right there? That means you have to be on top. So you have to come from the other side and then when you, when you walk over that, the rope will come down. You can climb up and down, but it's a little treat for later. There's where we fell. So by that map, we were in the, near the volcano area, or the mount, big mountain area. Okay. Notice that guy right now. They look like hearts. I never looked at that, but they look like hearts. All right. Here's some of the combat. Usually slimes are the easiest characters in a RPG game. Um, we'll see that in Sword of Vermilion when you play that. Make that noise. Wow. All right. Here's a little shortcut. You can go on that thing and go all the way around. And oh yeah, down here, if you fall, you kind of go into this punishment pit. This one more forgiving because it's just pretty much these guys. But pretty much, you uh, if you fail a jump, you have to go. Um, you have to fight guys in a, in a pit and then you have to like kill all the enemies to get out of the pit so you kind of have to work to get out of the pit so you you want to make sure you don't mess the jumps up or whatnot but here's a little secret on this part you go whoop you just skip that part I mean, watch the angle. Um, I think if you, if you do that, you, you won't be able to hit the hit the guys. Wait, did I get a key? I did get a key. You want to do this first because otherwise you'll have to backtrack and do all this stuff again. So pretty much, and this is a small little dungeon thing. We want to get to where that guy is. And yes, we will have to go around. And this little, um, this border around the cliff means you can't fall. Unless you have, like, no barrier thing. Let's get that. Five golds? Nice. So, we'll go back up here. I think these guys respawn. 
And these are switches. They, when I first played this, they look like mushrooms. But if you look at them carefully, they look they're like this buttons. But I cannot unsee the mushrooms. That is all when I first played this. I know if it's because I played a sort of a million before this, and like I think they had mushrooms in that. They had truffles. That kind of remind me of I don't know. That they don't look like, they don't look like the Mario ones. All right. Since we hit that switch, these statues moved out of the way. Otherwise, they'd be blocking our path. And you can't go up without climbing on this thing. And if you don't have that path, you can't get around. All right, here's some our first battle. What? There we go. Look at this. Come here, guys. And here's a interesting fact. Um, hey, you get gold from guys, but the bad guys can get pick up the gold on the floor, and then you kill them, you get that gold as well. So it just piles up. Alright, so th that was the first dungeon. Pretty interesting, huh? I'll take this, sir. He's guarding a livestock. Six, nine, sixty-nine. Hmm, you came here looking for the treasures of King No. I'm sorry, but I know absolutely nothing about the treasures. However, I did come across a fragment a document from the legend of King Noel the, just the other day. What did it say? Long, long ago in a land sucker very far away. No, a long, long ago in an age of King Cole, a vast horde of soldiers came to this land. But why here? The war was on the continent. What good is an island to soldiers? They must have come here to protect something very valuable of King Noel's. Of course, that's it. Wait, wait. There's no reason to assume that they were protecting the king's treasures. Maybe not, but I, I just feel it. Anything else? I'll look it up in my book. Stop by later. I may, I may uh, have something for you then. I need to learn how to do voices. All right. So that was the first dungeon. And sometimes these got oh, these the baddies can. Um, can drop e geeks and treasure. Let's see if we get any uh, on this. So you don't even really have to buy e, -E, -E geeks if you're good enough. You'll eventually get them from monsters and whatnot. Jump again. Pew! Oh, that's what happens when you fail. Oh, hey, hey. All right. Um. And we have two e, e keeks, so if we lose our four health, we'll be fine. That statue moved, and we have this. <clears throat> so maybe the switch in that one area was for that, and then you just had to kill the bad guys to get, the, I don't know. I never, Looked at it too seriously. I just realized I get the gold. I get the lat lat. I get the land sucker. I get the livestock. I just realized how weird it's called livestock, and it's um not like animals. Hannah, I may just be just a kid, but I'm courageous enough to go and beat them. That's it. That's the last straw. I'll do it. We're elaborating a plan now. Don't disturb us. Alright, see ya. I think we'll have time to get to this second village. 
we won't have time to really do anything, but... Nigel! A terrible tragedy occurred soon after you left. After we managed to fix the bridge, gummy thugs marched in and kidnapped Farah! Oh, my little girl! Oh, that's what they're talking about. Oh, I'm gonna follow you. Oh, please! Please save my Farah! Just a plain sword, a plate, uh, chest plate, uh, plain boots, and no no ring. We'll get that a lot later. Hopefully, not too much later. I mean, it won't be t this video. Oh, and look at these things right here. See this thing right here? Um, that is gonna be mushroom guy, uh, a mushroom enemy later on. Um, you'll know if it's fake if you can walk on it or if you um, can't walk past it and it's like a barrier. guys barely move. I mean, they, they, uh, the higher level ones eventually move. Can you see that thing on the street? That's a mushroom bad guy. See, like, they come out like that. But you don't know which ones are real and which ones are fake. So you just assume that they're all real. Or they're all... And here's where isometrics kind of get a little tricky. See, you have to know where to jump. You can't really see that side of the cliff, so... And I think the mushroom guys eventually poison you. Or maybe they, they all have a different effect. Maybe that's what it is. We're doing pretty good. We're... Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, hey mushroom dude. Oh! There you go. There's the orcs that we saw um, in the dungeon. Yeah, I think you only see those orcs in the dungeon once. Then every time you go to that room, it, it's always empty. Oh, and here is... Um... Can you tell me where I'm at? We'll learn in a second. Something's going on over here. So this town kidnapped the, do the mayor's daughter. Look, look, it's fair. Let's go down from here. Okay, come on. Thumpa thumpa, yo, sacrificial, beneficial. Nothing here is artificial. Undefiled, unbeguiled, please accept this virgin child. Thumpa thumpa, yo. Now they're gone, and then there's crazy chicken. Oh, there's our thief guy.
Maybe we'll eventually save up for all this. For the livestock. Um, here's a map of... Okay, we're in Gummy now. And the first town was Masan. And then, look, there's a little place down there. There's a little water cave. Then there's a castle. Then there's a tower down there. Another town. Another town. And then... Um, a little area with a little lake. So this can be a little cryptic. Um, see that dog is just a bow wow. I don't know why they make that chicken so crazy. But this is what you're... I think that they intended you to do. You go through here, you see that guy and you're like, where'd he go? This part actually took me a while the first time I played it. I'm like, where do I go? Not like they tell you anything. Got a hundred gold. Hundred G's. Oh, there he is. Good heavens! Nice to meet you again, young boy. Oh, the landside? Yes, well, we seem to run out of luck. The village was empty, so I searched for some valid valuables, but there was nothing to take. All I found was some old statue at the mayor's house. There was also some gold lying around, but of course I didn't touch them. Not. So you know, we can't go over here because of the landside. So pretty much we have to solve the problem, and then we can cross. Okay, so you're supposed to note that he um, was talking about um, a statue. I assumed when I first played it that he got the statue, so I'm like, okay. But you go back here. We might say at the end, because why not? We're at two health, so... Oh, you did not try to swing at me, dude. Oh, when you get sword upgrades, the uh, color of the sword changes. Also, I want to give it right now. I want to give a shout out to Doc Sigma. Um, he did a whole playthrough of this, I think, a couple of years ago. Uh, he was like the first one I watched play this game. And I'm like, I love this game growing up, and that was so awesome that he did a whole playthrough of it. I know other people did, but he's the one that I, I noticed. But uh, shout out to him for doing a playthrough of this. And he taught me something that I've never learned in this game. Which I will point out in a later video when I when we get to it. So you get this. Yeah, and you have to do a jump. Okay, you get idle statue. And since we're uh, about to wrap up, I'll do a... We'll go to the inn. And we'll, we'll stay the night because we want to hear the music. We want to hear the lovely music. So we did that, and now we're gonna save. And that should pretty much wrap up the video. Um, welcome to our church. Oh yeah, these people. Go away! Well, I'm still gonna save my game. The Luckily the priest guy is always nice. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I love this. I love. I love this game. Um, it. I don't think it gets the love it deserves. It's a, it's a sort of Zelda-ish game with some platforming or what have you. But I uh, hope you stick around for the whole series and watch it. It's a good game, and maybe you can try it out. Um, it's on the Sega Classics Edition on all the consoles like Xbox One. Um, uh, PlayStation, 
I think even even it's even on Switch. Um, but uh, have a wonderful day. Take care and game on. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Both me and Chelsea greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe to this channel, see more content, that's cool. If not, that's cool as well. Um, I'm a gamer who likes to play games, talk games, love games, breathe games, all that fun jazz. But uh, everyone out there, have a wonderful night. Take care. And game on, gamers. Bye. Bye.